Uh, hi ladies. This is the first time I've ever made a recording on my phone using my iPhone. I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to look. Probably over there somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, I'm waiting for a part to come for my, that I'll use my camera where I can download some videos. So I just got back from church and uh, as you know, not going out for breakfast afterwards that I used to do with my husband. I'm, I really do miss that. But um, it was really good being at church. And I went to the early service, which starts at like 8.30. Church is really growing. It's quadrupled in size and they're building on. So it was just, I encourage you even if you don't feel like it, to just go ahead, just go ahead and go to church. Just make yourself go. Because it, honestly, you know, it was just a high, high to this and that one that I knew. But what I did is instead of thinking about yourself when you go, just think about somebody who's brand new you know, it's the first time they've been there. And you could be the person that could cause that person to come back to church next Sunday. And just like, just get out of yourself and look around. And today, I seen a young woman back there sitting by herself. If you see someone sitting by themselves, it's not gonna hurt anything to just, just go talk to them and just say, hi, um, my name's Sandy and, and uh, they, and they're always, I mean, they'll respond to, to a smile and, uh, and your love, they'll feel your love. I, I met a very nice lady today and um, she has, has not been attending her church. It was a total different denomination, but she's not been attending that and kind of discouraged where she was going. But um, she said that when she walked in the door of the church, that she just felt the spirit of God and the love that people had. Ah, that's really important. There's no church that's perfect, but I think the most important thing that God's ever told us is, is love. Love is the most important thing, it really is. Oh, sorry, I'm sitting on my long sweater. <laughs> but anyways, so, her name was Michelle, and I met her, and she met me, and and I introduced myself to one other lady, but she she had been going there a couple of years, and and uh, so I encourage you to do that. And then they were selling since I wasn't going out to breakfast with anybody, which you know I miss that, but I think they were raising money for the missionaries or something in Honduras, and so bless their heart, people were had these home cooked meals. I think mine was. Some kind of, well, it had refried rice and um, refried beans, and then those things that are wrapped up with chicken in it or something. And uh, so, came home, sat down, ate that, and uh, watched a little bit of YouTube. And, and uh, then I thought, okay, I'm, although I don't have my camera, this is a good learning curve for me. But, I don't know about the sound thing because I have these Wi-Fi, two of these. One that hooks here, they're wireless in this. But this hooks into my camera that I usually record with. But my iPhone doesn't have a place to plug that in. So I'm not sure how this sound is, but <laughs> I think it's gonna be good enough for today. I wanna thank all of you who have been subscribing to my channel. Oh. I get so excited. I look. I don't know how many times a day I look to see how many subscribers or how many people have looked. And it looks like it's doing really good. And uh, uh, I just think about all you so much and, and thinking about which way I need to go, what I need to talk about that would help you. Uh, I did go out. I went out with a gentleman, uh, a very nice man, went out for dinner. But, yeah, it didn't, um, 
for me, it didn't uh, make a connection. I'll put it that way. Now, my normal way of doing things as a teenager, I remember this, is if I didn't want to go on dating that person, I would, the new phrase now for you older ladies, like I, I'm 79 years old, so these are like new phrases, but I pick them up, would be, I, go, I would ghost them, you know, and, uh, you know, they would ring, the phone. well, in those days you couldn't, you didn't know who was calling, you know, when they tried to call you, but, it, you know, if, I just wouldn't answer the phone. Then they'd come to the door and then I wouldn't answer the door, you know. Uh, that's called ghosting. Or now, the way you ghost someone is if they message you or call you on the phone and you see who it is and you ghost them. All right. And this was such a nice man. I didn't want to hurt him or ghost him. So I looked it up. <laughs> I looked it up on, you, on, yeah, on YouTube how to uh, let somebody know that you don't want to go out. And uh, so almost word for word, I, I, I did that and messaged him. And I'm like, uh, I, I felt better. And I just prayed that God would help him find a nice lady because he's such a nice man. But, okay. So anyways, I, I feel good today. I feel good. Um, doing the YouTubes that I'm doing now really helps me a lot. It, um, and, and I'm learning everything that a problem comes up. I am tenacious and I try with that to just, I sometimes like uh, YouTube, there's just like nothing you can't, if you can't figure out something, just ask YouTube. So, yes, I should have graduated from YouTube because I've learned so much. Oh my goodness. Well, ladies, we gotta move on, right? When our husbands passed away, we can't keep going back and rewriting that chapter. We can keep rereading that same book, right? Just keep reading the chapters of the book and what a life was like and keep rereading it and rereading. We can do that. Or we can go on and write another chapter in our life because our life is like a, a book of different chapters and we have to leave the last chapter. We won't forget it. We can always remember the last chapter, but we need to go on and, and to write another chapter, a brand new chapter. And we're not married anymore. That's a fact, we're just not married anymore. So we don't need to move around and make decisions, do things like we're a married woman. We're not. And we still have life in us. If you allow it to be. And God needs you. He needs you to help other people, encourage them. And my doing this is helping me. And, uh, and when you were just, the comments, when you send me comments, oh, God bless you, it just... It made me so happy. I read every one of your comments more than once. So, yes, ladies, just, uh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Um, now we're starting to get warmed up here a little bit in Indiana. And we'll get out there a walk. I signed up for a different insurance company that has a free exercise program. So I got to look into that. But don't. You know, you don't have to do everything at once. In my mind, I've got this. I write down all the things I do want to do and then start with the most important thing. And uh, it's not that I may stick with all of them, but, uh, but at least I've got a plan. At least I'm going forward. And if you're just very newly widowed, well, it's only been about three and a half months for me, but if you're very newly widowed, you'll probably be very tired. And I would say to you, take care of yourself. Just go ahead. If you want to sleep, sleep. Try to eat halfway decent. But if you want some carbs, eat them. But you need that time to rest. Because you're, if you're taking care of somebody like I did, 
my husband had Alzheimer's and taking care of him just, wow. It just takes so much out of you mentally and physically. And having to put him in a nursing home, all the, all the decisions I had to make and the bills and the paperwork. It's like, ah, oh, no. And, and now I start YouTube with all these things I'm trying to figure out, but that's okay because I'm moving on. And we absolutely are never alone. God is always with us. He sure is. Okay, ladies, I really do love all of you. God bless every one of you. And may, may God just shine his light upon your lives, give you direction, help you to make decisions that you have to make. So get out there and live life, ladies. Uh, I'll be doing mine and, and let me know what you're doing to move on. Okay, God bless you. Bye.